Well, hello again. Thanks for clicking through to another video. Come out today to this uh, very pine part of the uh, woodland. Um, it's nice and green here. I like filming here. You've seen this spot before. I had the Lavu here um, last winter, maybe spring. I can't remember. That was a while ago. So that's why I've got the fire reflector here. Um, nothing else. That's that's all I did last time I was here. But I thought it'd be a nice spot for a um, semi-permanent camp. So uh, the idea today is to build a, a little shelter. Uh, nothing fancy, because it's hopefully a one day build, because I'm planning on sleeping in it tonight. Um, so yeah, I've just taken down a tree over there. That's going to be kind of the ridge pole. Um, need to find a lot of materials, hopefully moss cover it. Yeah, got a lot to get on with, but uh, the weather's pretty nice. Um, sunny, a bit windy, but I uh, still need to take that shirt off. <laughs> right, so I'm going to get going and uh, process some materials. Oh, I've been out here a couple of hours now and uh, <laughs> starting to take shape, doing both sides at the same time so you don't topple over or anything, though so it's pretty sturdy. I did swing on the uh, ridge pole there just to check it. But yeah, as usual, um, quite hard to uh, get hold of nice straight wood. There's only so much pine here. The pine that's kind of fallen, dead fallen, that is pretty much um, rotten for the most part. So I'm just getting what I can, straight as I can, and it uh, seems to be working out so far. Just got to keep at it. 
quick breather, I think. Well I've not been filming as much as I ordinarily would just because I want to try and get this done before sundown and uh, the evenings are drawing in earlier now, it being um, beginning of October. I've got most of the frame done. <laughs> My plan was to moss cover it. Uh, whether there's enough around here we'll see because I don't want to take too much from one area. I may use some bark as there's quite a lot around from the uh, dead standing and fallen trees. So I might use some bark to uh, build up some kind of uh, water resistance. But yeah, I'm having another breather. <laughs> Well, I'm pretty much done with all this framework. It's, uh, it's not too bad. Obviously there's gaps because it's not perfectly straight. Nice pine, only a few bits of pine in there. Um, yeah, so that's that bit over. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, use my log carrier and um, collect materials to cover it. Uh, if it's later in autumn, could just do leaves and debris. Um, I'm hoping for moss. There's quite a bit around, we'll see. Um, otherwise there's bracken down further in the woodland. I'll, uh, I'll see what works, but I might get some of that bark and kind of cover up the ridge and that first.
that is uh, one wall pretty much done. I don't have to worry too much about the foot end at the moment. So uh, <laughs> I am losing light here a little bit, but um, not too bad. You're going to see it just as normal because of the lens, but uh, yeah, I'm happy to have one side done, that's for sure. So yeah, I'll get as much as the other side done, but I've got sort of, got to get uh, tinder and kindling and firewood and stuff sorted as well. Whew, I might have to continue this after dark. Okay, I think that's it for this side for now. I've still got the other side and it is a sort of lean to, so if it does uh, rain, which I don't think it's gonna, not yet anyway, I'll be okay. <laughs> it's hard work. Right, I haven't got too much light left, so I'm going to prep some firewood while I can still see. <laughs> Whew, I am tired. 
been a pretty full day and I did get up here about midday I think so I've been rushing a bit. Still more mossing to do on the shelter. Oh. I think I'm going to chill, rehydrate and uh, look at the fire for a little bit. <laughs> Then get back to it, got cooking to do, mossing to do. Chill time. While the sun was setting I thought I'd get the uh, sleep system out. Just got a ground sheet, my normal therma rest, uh, the uh, Alpkit Hunker Bivy, which I've not used since Sweden, and just my sleeping bags in there. I had the room so I thought I'd bring the winter sleeping bag, but why not? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cosy. It may not be fully complete, but it's a good way there. And uh, if anything gets in down the bottom, I've got the bivy, so I'm not going to get wet. I'm happy. I put this lower down. It's a bit of a beacon up there. And I can see inside with it. This is just some uh, bannock mix I made up. Uh, I've put a little bit of cheese and onion in there and there's some uh, sort of nuts and seeds as well. So I'm just going to bring that together. That's the dough all come together. I'm just going to leave that for a minute and then I'm going to cook it on a uh, rock that's been heating on the fire over there. I'm quite looking forward to this. It's going to go with a nice bit of steak. So here she is, a nice bit of bannock. Been straight on the rock, no oil or anything, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it's not too hot. Here's my piece of steak. I'm just going to rub on some oil because I'm cooking on that rock. This should help it not stick. There we go. And I've just got some salt and pepper. Nice and simple. No 
we go, that's ready as soon as the uh, bread's off. Here we go, steak time. It's been a while since I cooked a steak on a rock. Right, so I'm just going to flip this steak. It shouldn't really have stuck. That's fine. Nice. So there's our banner, and there's the steak. Give that a minute to rest. Ooh, yeah. And of course, I've got my uh, horn mug beer ready for dinner. Okay, so let's try this out. Oh, the fat's even gone crisped up. Ooh, lovely. So I got told off last time I did bannock for cutting it. Apparently, you have to break a bannock, otherwise, it's bad luck. There you go, you can see them seeds in there. Mmm, looks good. Mmm, that is lovely. I suppose, oh, I should have got my other knife out. Try the steak. Probably overdid it a little bit, it's hard to uh, gauge heat of the stone. But steak is steak. Well, I can see a little bit of pink in there, so that's all right. Yes, yes, and yes. That is bloody lovely. Oh, I'm glad I went with this. It wasn't my original choice, but the butchers was out of something I was after, so I'll save that for another video. Well, that's me finished. Probably going to save the rest of that bannock for breakfast. I must say I deserved that dinner with all the building and everything today. Wood processing. Really needed it. one of these oh boy hot chocolates from uh, Sweden first one I've had since been back actually uh, I think me and Simon brought quite a lot back him a lot more than me he's obsessed <laughs> I'll have this and uh, head off to bed
Good morning. Beautiful morning in the woods here. Aeroplane going over. <laughs> Had some weird dreams last night. Very strange. But uh, well rested. The sun's out, it's just starting to come through the trees. And uh, I've got the fire going for breakfast. So not too much planned for today. A bit of breakfast. Just a little bit more mossing. Just so it's in a good state when I um, come back to it for the next camp, I guess. Or cook. It uh, didn't rain last night, which is kind of unfortunate because it would have been nice to test it even though it's not finished. Um, there is a few gaps in the moss, plus the ridge has gaps as well. Um, I just put bark on there last night that I collected yesterday. The intention is to put moss right up to the top and put the bark on top of that on the ridge. So I'll carry on with that in a bit. But uh, I think breakfast is next. Well, I'll tell you what, rock bacon is lovely. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've done bacon on a rock. No, it's not. I did that um, primitive breakfast, didn't I? Quite a while ago. Yeah, it's a good way of cooking. Nice and convenient. Seems quite controlled as well. Well, I think I'll uh, get a couple of loads of moss, pack up. I've already packed up the sleep system and that. I always find that best to do when you're on it. Let down the air mat. So, uh, yeah, I'll get some more moss, pack up, and uh, rock out of here. So here's where I'm going to leave it for now. It's 
is this side and this is the back side I've got full body coverage with the moss it's just the end bit there which is where I'd pre keep my pack and on the top for now I've just laid down some bark I'll do it better next time I'm here And there's the inside. Well, that's me all done. Hope you enjoyed that one. I'm off home now, probably to edit this video. It's been a good one. I'm happy with the uh, shelter. Should uh, be good to work on. I've got some bigger logs that were going to extend the fire um, reflector and stuff like that, some boundary walls. I think this would be a nice spot. So, thanks again. I'll throw up some more videos for you if you're new to the channel. Other than that, Goodbye for now.